Hello guys, today I want to help those of you who have Laravel projects before Laravel 8 version and want to upgrade to Laravel 8 but are kind of afraid to do that. And I received a few comments over last month or so like this one on the screen. I really like how Laravel 8 looks but don't like new things like blade components probably from JetStream and controller calls on the web which is routing changes. So Vocal Out is asking, is there any way to upgrade the Laravel version to be up to date, but stay with old Laravel 7 syntax for all of those things? Similar question is, or maybe comment, porting Laravel 6, 7 to 8 with Jestream seems to be a complex one. And third question I've picked, if I install the old Laravel auth without Fortify, do I still have to remove my auth to change something? So three questions, but with similar scenarios. So before Laravel 8 the project was created and now how to upgrade and whether it's worth to upgrade. Because Laravel 8 introduced two changes that kind of confused people. First it was routing change which became one of my most popular videos on this channel with 80,000 views. And then all of that topic around Jetstream and auth changes and Fortify. So my another video took off with 50,000 views because people are searching Laravel without Jetstream now. And in this video I want to show you how to upgrade Laravel 7 project to Laravel 8 without any Jetstream or any routing changes. So the overall point of this video is that you can upgrade Laravel 6 or 7 project to Laravel 8 without using any of those new shiny stuff. And your application won't break. So you may stop watching right now and go to your application and try to upgrade. Or you can watch how I do that on my demo project. So my demo project is a Laravel 7 demo project from our quick admin panel. List of sporting events with admin panel. It's not a small project, but it's not a big one. And I've cloned it. It's Laravel 7. We created it eight months ago and didn't upgrade. And in my local PHP Storm, the Composer JSON looks like this. So it's not just Laravel, there are some packages around it. And to upgrade that Laravel framework from 7 to 8, the upgrade process starts with changing that 7 to 8 and then running Composer update. But of course, I'm oversimplifying that. In your project, it may be much more difficult, depending on the packages you use, on the syntax you use, on a lot of things. But generally, your first goal with upgrade to Laravel 8 is upgrade the package, then run Composer update and see what are the errors. The errors will be there inevitably because they will be related to other packages. So with upgrading Laravel to version 8, you need to change the versions for all the packages that are incompatible with Laravel 8. So your first milestone goal in general is to successfully run Composer Update. Because if I now run Composer Update, let's try that actually, Composer Update, as expected it throws errors and we need to scroll up to the actual reason. There may be many reasons for many packages and scroll up and we see that Laravel Dusk is the reason. Version 0.5 is incompatible with Laravel 8. So you need to check what is the latest version of Laravel Dusk. Laravel Dusk for example. You go to GitHub, you check releases. You may want to check it deeper but for now let's change it to version 6. So 5.9 to 6.9 and run Composer update again. Then it will throw error with another package and then package by package you update the versions. And to save the time on this video I will take the versions from our newer Quick Admin Panel Laravel 8 project. If I view the code and look at Composer JSON, I can compare that with Laravel 7 project and Passport should be 10.0. So changing this one, Laravel UI should be 3.0 data tables 9.11 and then one by one guzzle 701 course 2.0 and i remember that eloquent sluggable package has version 8 and now run composer update again and see if it's successful and that will be our milestone one that framework is updated and then we will see if it broke something with routes or with models or with auth. In ideal scenario you should have automated tests and you would run those tests and see if something broke in your application but for this video we will test just the visual so launch the home page, launch the admin panel and see if it still works and then in the code I will show you which parts are responsible for routes and other stuff. So as you can see the update is running. 
So it is successful, it didn't throw any errors on any packages anymore, and there's only a few warnings about abandoned packages, but it didn't throw any errors. And now let's launch our page. I have a domain prepared for that project3.test. Oh, I haven't run the migration, so artisan key generate and artisan migrate fresh seed. So wipe the previous database and reseed everything. Okay, and now it should work. So as you can see, the home page is loading well. If we try to register or log in, that should work well. So we register, the URLs are working, the auth is working, all the models are working, so you can create an event, for example. It doesn't matter what the project is about, actually. I wanted to show you the working features, which are kind of core Laravel things. So CRUD is working, and we didn't change anything in the code. I didn't adopt anything from Laravel 8. I didn't change the routes. I didn't install Jetstream or Fortify or whatever is the new thing in Laravel 8, and it's still working. Now let's dive into the code. If you look at the official Laravel 8 release notes about routing updates, you probably should expect to see this syntax in the updated project, otherwise it wouldn't work. But in fact, old routing syntax still works, and I will show you why. So in my routes web, I didn't change anything, I still use route get with at index syntax, because in route service provider, the file that is responsible for route rules, there is one property, namespace. And that namespace means that all the controllers that are referenced in the web have namespace of app HTTP controllers. In Laravel 8, that namespace was removed or in fact commented out. That's why you need to provide namespace either in the use in routes web above or here to have longer syntax. And if you look at Laravel 8 route service provider, I will zoom it in. This is the official Laravel repository. As you can see, this is commented out. So it's forcing you to use new syntax, but you can still use old syntax if you remove those symbols and return the namespace variable. As you can see in my project, it's not commented out, it's still active, so the routes are still working. The point is, if you update from Laravel 6 or 7 to 8, you don't need to change anything with routes because it relies on this variable. And regarding auth with Jetstream and Fortify and anything, we also don't need it if we upgrade with working auth. In this case, I used in Laravel 7 Laravel UI package, so all the auth is app HTTP controllers auth and login controller and register controller, which is familiar to you from older Laravel version, and that will still work fine. Because both Laravel UI and Laravel Jetstream and now Laravel Breeze, the newest one, under the hood, they work on the same Laravel auth core, and that core didn't change at all. So if you have an old layer of Laravel UI or even before that Laravel make auth, artisan command, that will still work. So with this video, I want to kind of bust the myth that if you update to Laravel 8, you need to use all the new features of Laravel 8. Not necessarily. That said, if you update to Laravel 8, there may be more stuff to look at. Also check out the official release notes with new stuff. And of course, check the documentation of all the packages that you're using, whether they support Laravel 8, what version should you use, and what syntax have changed since then. And if you want to get more information about Laravel in general, at the end of this video I want to advise you to subscribe to my email newsletter, which I send every Thursday. And on the screen you see the latest issue, the latest example. So I compile all the newest videos from this YouTube channel, but also from Laravel community. I gather quite a lot of useful links. It's usually about 20 to 30 useful links. So you can subscribe to that, the link is on the screen. It's already almost 5,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, you're probably missing out. And that's it for now. See you guys in other videos.